What the F, man? Are you serious? Like, are you actually serious? Why are you sleeping on trapped in a dating sim? I thought you were better than this, honestly. Let me try to talk you into why it's such, into believing that it's such a good show. Um, it's an entertaining isekai. Um, you know, tried and true concept. I like that the that the main character Leon he's not actively trying to do good, be good or pretty much do anything. He's trying to be a side character. I'll get more into that in a bit. Um, I like the as aristocratic society theme. That's always a banger for me. I don't know why. Um, I wish they explained it a little more, especially in the manga, because it gets super confusing with the lower and uh, upper sixth ranks. But maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll read the light novel and get more info on that. I like that it doesn't waste time on the training arc. In the very first episode, he found what made him OP. And it's not just because of the Luxian. He's also a good swordsman. And he's a good adventurer. And he's a very capable guy. I like that. But he's not also insanely like powerful like freaking, what's his name, Raymaru. I appreciated that there wasn't the training arc. I can't say that enough. I like... I hate the ship, Luxian. Mostly because of the color. I love Partner. That little anti-gravital... That's a word. Uh, the orb of his, the AI Partner thing. I really love that thing. I love how it gives him so much attitude. And like... It follows his orders... But it does just enough to cause him trouble while still being within, like, the parameters of his orders. And I love that repartee. I love that thing. And it gets funnier as it goes on. And this last chapter, because I started reading the manga before the anime came out. That's not a flex. I'm just saying I liked it before it was cool. But yeah, I started reading the manga like a year or two ago. And this last chapter ended with a on a cliffhanger with a partner. And I want to see where that goes. But yeah, he deserves a shout out because he's... I love that guy. Um, it's... I'm hesitant to say this, but it's an easy watch. It's not like Log Horizon or... Or Mushoku Tensai that have more they have more more details in just the power system, class system, social system, culture, everything. This is more straightforward. You could just jump in first episode, just watch it, and it'll make sense. Uh, Mushoku Tensei, you kinda have to pay a little more attention. Um, it does a good job of not assuming you've read the light novels, but it could still be better. Um, but yeah, it's an easy watch. You strap in, you have a good time. It changes a little later. Um, it expands the world and it brings in, uh, the rival kingdom. Oh, spoilers, by the way. I probably should have said that at the beginning of the episode. I always forget. But yeah, it brings in the rival kingdom, and it brings in more national politics, and I really like that. And it also expands on his harem, so that's always good. I'm a degenerate at heart. I like... Okay, first let me talk about what I dislike. The villain, Marie. I hate her so much. I don't remember another... Nobody else comes to mind with somebody I hate as much as I hate her. She... And she kind of gets... She gets so close to getting what she deserves. But then... Leon has to save her. And... That kind of ties into... One of my uh, first points. He has to save her. He's trying really hard not to do anything special. Just to be an average side character. And... 
everything just pushes him to do like amazing things especially marie she just makes situations where he has to like come out on top and he ranked up like several several ranks pretty quickly and in the manga it gets even more crazier you know he's just trying to be an everyday guy but he's being forced into like these fantastical situations i appreciate that he and he's not like other mcs because not only is he not trying to do good but he actively tries to be bad he makes situations or he responds to situations in a way where he he's gonna come out as a bad guy no matter what he does when he battled when he dueled the the four nobles and the prince he didn't have to take it so far but he was right in what he was doing trying to knock some sense into them and tell them hey you're really self-righteous you're really privileged like you have your head in the clouds and you're causing actual harm to like Angie and everybody else all because of your stupidity and he does take it far like the queen says also another member of the harem but I appreciate that and when he beat those uh those beast men up I'm not a racist a specious but that was so satisfying and I hate that uh Earl's daughter I'm pretty sure he ends up saving her in the manga a few chapters from now but yeah, I hate her so much. But at the same time, I'm saying all this, but at the same time, he's kind of a caring person. He doesn't want to cause trouble. He wants, he understands that his friends were put in a bad position where they had to trash his room. You know, they had to follow the crowd or they'd be ostracized like he was, like he is. And he's caring about his family. He helps his sister out even though she's evil and a terrible person. He acknowledges that she's family and he tries to be there for her and I like that. And then his parents, he seems like he genuinely cares about them. And his brother. And that ties into one of the last points. Character development. Olivia and Angie, I love them so much. I love them. Olivia starts off as this really meek and timid person. And she still kind of is where we are in the anime. She's grown a little, but still, she's still got a lot to go. But now that she is friends with Angie, that kind of accelerates a little. And I like it. Olivia becomes a more self-confident person. Leon is trying his best to kind of make her into someone who can be the, uh, the saint of the world, of the kingdom. Which just goes to show he's also kind of altruistic in that. I like that she's growing as a person. And she's starting to kind of stand her ground. Especially when she's defending her, defending her friends. Angie. Angie's just best girl for me. Like he said, she was a shitty character in the original game. She was the main antagonist. But once, once Marie kind of stole Julius, she became an actual person. Like she, she wasn't a bad person before. She was just written that way, and she was in a bad situation. But Leon kind of freed her, and now she's able to forge her own path. And she's Olivia, and Olivia, and I guess Leon a little are opening her eyes that she can actually be a person. She can actually do what she wants. She was brought up, she was brought up to be the next king's wife. And now she's saying, hey, maybe, maybe I can do more than that. Maybe I can go on adventures and do stuff and like make actual friends. Her growth, I really like it. Her and Olivia kind of get into a little thing because of the other people at the academy who are super classist against Olivia. But they come out strong for it. And there's a few good laughs. So I like that. 
And I actually kind of enjoy the the nobles and the prince. They're super vapid, they're so shallow, and they're very vain. But Leon is kind of helping them grow. And he kind of gets some more one-on-one -on -one time with them in the manga. So I'm going to... I'm looking forward to seeing that, if it's ever animated. I think the show is going to get to the attack on the airship by the Orient Kingdom. I think that's where the, se the season is going to end, um, which is pretty good. We'll have uh, some interactions with some more people. And he's just such a dick while he's defending the students. I love it so much. So yeah, I think it's a really good show. I did a terrible job of selling it, I know, but <clears throat> it's a solid anime. It's not the worst for this season. It happens to be a story that I really, really like. And I'm excited to see where it goes. I know I saw some criticism, I think from Chibi Reviews, speak, uh, spoke about this, that the artwork doesn't really match the manga. And I get that because I think I mentioned it in, the la in one of the last videos. The artwork in the manga is super precise and the line work is just like super detailed. And the anime kind of loses some of that. And I noticed that I, I count that as a negative. I don't like that. But at the same time, I think it's a good, it's a good adaptation. It's not going to be as great as the manga was, but it's a good anime. It's good animation. Especially for one of the studios that's not that famous. Um, but yeah, as you're just watching it, it's. I'll put it at a 7 out of 10. Only because it's so new. And. I mean, this is the first season. And it's so fresh into this. Into it, just, it still has a lot of episodes to go. But it's, it's going up in my ranking. Um, but yeah. I think you should watch it. It's a really good show. The manga does the good things better, but also does the bad things worse. So I think the anime is in a good middle ground. And yeah, I'm excited to see where it goes. I, and again, Angie's best girl. If you disagree with that, then just, I don't know, man. You should be sued or go to jail. But yeah, thanks for watching.